right? Right? Mistress. If I lived back in the day, I would be like a madam of a brothel. Or I would just work in the brothel. For real. But I'm trying to be a madam. Because I, I just want to say, I want to like a, own a safe house for like all I my sex see, workers. I could see that for you. Yeah, and just be like, everything's safe. I'm strapped. We got this. I'll shoot them in the dick if they do nothing crazy. No questions crazy. asked. Yeah. You know? Don't there's, care. Nothing to prove here. I'm going to shoot first. There's a female <laughs> uh, pimp from St. Paul who I've been trying to get on my show for some time. So if she's oh, out there. Oh, shit. Um, shout out. I'm some sure girls, some both. girls do work. Some girls work better with pimps. Like I, like I used to like demonize all of them cause there's some really bad ones. Like the yeah. gorilla pimps. Oh my God, they're trash. But so, I guess it, they can, I'm a sweet pimp. some can be okay. I'm a sweet pimp. Yeah. 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 I knew it. I knew it. She's I a, only, yeah. She's a dominant. Ah, thank you. I feel like, yeah, like, I do. I really feel like good madame, madame vibes for you. Like, I feel like that's right. And, like, um, and I'm charging. Okay. All your prices is up there. This is very interesting. We're, We're having this, like, conversation about, like, race in our industry, too. Like, one of the most successful madams from Minneapolis ever was from the, like, um, log mining like the flour mill days when minneapolis first was established as a city mm -hmm. this madam worked out of um like what is now northeast like saint anthony maine like exactly where saint anthony maine is um and she had a brothel that only had black sex workers and only had white clients oh wow and she was like a million equivalent of a millionaire. Like how back interesting in the day. is that? And right. I be, and I bet like these. I bet a lot of these white clients like it was their dirty little oh, secret. Yeah. It was like their fucking favorite thing. And right. like where in the Midwest back then are you gonna even find black girls? Period. I know. Right. Like she's that's on so interesting. Here, by the way. Yeah. Ida Dorsey. Ida, Ida Dorsey. Dorsey. Okay, kill a it, Ida. A fucking legend. I aspire. Here she I is. fucking I aspire. You give me Ida Dorsey vibe. Oh, pull her up. <laughs> She's a fucking G. Look at Hang her. And that's Lulu White. It's saying. Let me find. Oh, this. okay. Minneapolis <laughs> Madams. Here we go. Ida Dorsey. Damn. Oh wait, is that a book? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's... Madams of Minneapolis is a dope ass. Book. Oh, I'm about to read it that. It gives a lot of his local history that's really beautiful. All I read is sex worker books, so put me <laughs> on anytime, cause that's my. Yeah, we were talking before we started about revolting prostitutes yeah. and stuff. But like everyone should read that. Yeah, like the they have the best book name. <laughs> I wish I could have named my fucking podcast that. Okay. <laughs> I love it. God right. damn it. I'm trying to find this. Oh, I'm like, what I are you looking it. at? Yeah, I'm so excited. That's so cool. I've never heard that, but I think this is it because Ida Dorsey. So she operated, also known as Ida Burks and Ida Pillsbury. I like that she took Pillsbury. Yes. Yes. She was said, that's right. We potted the flour, man. Right. That's cool. like, yeah, I'm Ida Gates. I bet Pillsbury was like so salty. Ida Trump um, <laughs> operated five hilarious. successive houses of prostitution in Minneapolis. Amazing. Dorsey's like, yeah. Okay, yep, and that book that you guys just shouted out is what it's from. Was this legal here, like, back then, or? Let's see, when did they start making it illegal? Whites. It was, like, in the, like, 19-something, 19, 19 that's when they started making it illegal, because I remember New York and, like, everywhere was, like, full of, like, brothels and shit, oh and then all these, like, Christian, Protestant, I don't know what the fuck, but all the colonizers came in, and they were just like, oh, my God, Shut it down. This, is, this is too provocative. Check out this shit. So the Pillsbury thing, Dorsey is also remembered for her long-term friendship with Carlton Pillsbury. Carlton. See, because he was in Pillsbury. there getting it. He was in there getting it. He, uh -huh. was he, kn he knew what he liked. In that house. Yeah. Right. It's, it's sad that, that, pe that people like feel like they have to do things like in secret, and, and that they're also racist probably at the same time. <laughs> she said, so it appeared to be an old ramshackle exterior 125 second street inside the house had beautiful carpets fancy wallpaper elegant furniture but it looked like shit i wish this was outside. fucking legal no like shit. i would oh and like why not like you said like what crime what harm is committed between consenting adults who trade like who have very like specific outlines and everything is traded according to plan it makes no sense like if i if i want to go and fuck 100 people for free that's fine but if i want to charge 100 people a thousand dollars to fuck me it's not just because you have good fiscal sense right, right. right. Retarded. Which, i honestly think it was white men that were mad that women were um making money for themselves and so they had to put an end to that shit. absolutely and like mm -hmm. you're the whole thing we were talking about in the beginning like who wants to fuck somebody who doesn't want to have sex with you like the whole idea that we're like into our sexuality yeah. or that we can gain from it in some right. way it's yeah. so offensive. Like, check out how sexy this actually was. So I, I guess I don't know what the can can is, but she said serving only white customers, the women danced the can can. 
which the Minneapolis police had outlawed the for, the forbidden dance and then performed shadow dances in silhouette. I can't believe they so wait. I can't believe they outlawed the can can. The can can is just like doing the lift your legs up thing. Yeah, you know what the can can is. Yeah, yeah. the Vegas girls. The Vegas oh. girls do the can cans in the line. That's when you pick up a, a Mountain Dew from the. Right. No. Nobody does when you, that. When you crush the can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's... There's the building. I know that fucking building. That's a, you know that building. Yeah, thank you, you for telling it. me this. Yeah. This is good info you guys gave today. Oh, my God. Oh let's yeah. fucking buy it back and turn it into a new brothel. And that can be the first brothel. And, like, it's, especially, like, in these times, too, like, I feel like... Um, a girl, like if we own our own strip club, we own our own brothel, like that would be dope. But like right now, like COVID times and stuff, like a peep show would be so dope. Yeah. Yes, it would.